Shalom everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Marine, and if this is your first time and you want to learn how to dance, praise and worship God with tambourine and flags, consider subscribing and hit that bell icon as well if you want to be notified of my upcoming videos. In my previous video tutorial, we learned about the tambourine pattern Fishers of Men and there was a note there that I will be sharing briefly about it in related to dance ministry and I'm going to speak in two languages Filipino and English because most of my subscribers or 90% of my subscribers are from the Philippines don't worry an English subtitle will be provided for this video before we move on let us pray most gracious Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this wonderful day. We praise and thank you for all the wonderful things that you are doing in our lives. And thank you, Lord, for this um, time that we're going to reflect upon your word. Holy Spirit, be our teacher. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. So Matthew 4, 19 says, Jesus called out to them, saying, Follow me and, and I will make you fishers of men. So who would have thought that God is going to use the dance ministry or a dance minister to fish for people? So back in the Philippines, our pastor, every time he will go to different places to evangelize, he will bring the dance ministry with him. So he would always bring us with him. And at a very young age, I have witnessed how God can powerfully use the dance to bring healing and deliverance to to touch the heart of the people and bring them to salvation. Going back to the word, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. In the dance ministry, so before a dancer becomes a dance minister, the dancer should be a follower of Christ, a believer of Christ, a born again Christian. And as a dance minister, you have to be committed to the Lord, be available to the Lord. Proverbs 16.3 says, Commit your works to the Lord and your thoughts will be established. We have also to be committed to our church, to the vision and mission of the church. We have also to be committed to the dance ministry where we are involved. Because dance ministry is not a performance, we are dance ministers which means that we use dance to lead the people to usher the people into worship into the presence of god you will minister the word of god in spirit and in truth through dance movement through tambourine through flags through interpretative dance through prophetic dance so after you have committed yourself to the Lord and committed to the church, to the vision and mission of the church. You have committed to the dance ministry. Yes, Lord, I'm going to be available for you. I'm going to use my body for your glory and for your honor. So in the making process, this is the time where a dance minister will be discipled. Matthew 16, 24 says, If anyone desires to come after me or follow me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. How are we going to apply this in the dance ministry? There are a lot of things that you need to give up, that you need to sacrifice, to be trained, not only in your skills, but to equip yourself with the Word of God. Example, you might have before might have been using your talent in dancing for the world, but this time that you have committed your works to the Lord, you're going to use your talents in dancing for the Lord and not for the world. Second Peter 3.18 says that grow in the grace and knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. And as we are being discipled, the more we spend time with the Lord and seek His face through prayer, through worship, through meditating on His Word and receiving the Rema of His written Word and allowing ourselves to be filled with the Holy Spirit. And when ministry time comes, 
our expression of worship comes from that place of intimacy when i say place of intimacy this is where you have ministered to the lord and the lord ministered to you always remind the dance ministers that you cannot lead the people into worship if you have not been there before we even minister to the people we have to go there first God loves us so much and He wants to spend time with us. And the more we spend time with the Lord, the more we get to know Him, the more we get to know the God we are worshiping. You will dance with power and authority, with boldness, with confidence, with faith, love, and joy and hope in the Lord. And the anointing of the Lord will flow through you. You will see the fruit of your deaths, healing and deliverance. Salvation will come to people. And that's how we fish for people in the dance ministry. So I hope you learned something from this sharing. And let us all keep growing in our relationship with the Lord and desire the spirit of excellence in all aspects of our lives and in the dance ministry. The Overflow Flag Routine was inspired from the Fisher of Men tambourine pattern and from the Word of God in Psalm 23 5. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. And it is my prayer that when you use this flag routine, may the double portion of the anointing of the Holy Spirit overflows in you and through you and to the people watching you minister. Flip this trimmer to the right diagonal front and bring it down to the left diagonal back. Do a full turn to your right, face the left side, point your left foot and do Two single figure of eight down, going up. Bring your flags to the right side. Shift your handshake grip to twisted grip and do two single backward figure of eight. And then bring the flags to the left side and turn to your right side while you bring the flags up to the right dab in front and do another turn to your left and repeat the sequence.